Hey, how's it going everyone? This video is gonna be kind of short, but I just really wanted to put this out there since I haven't seen it yet. Um, I have a HP 5500PS plotter printer. This is a, a 60 inch model that I've been having issues with off and on for the past year. It would range anywhere from uh, print head faults to uh, just basically locking up and having to recycle the power over and over again to get it back going. Um, I also got a lot of hard disk faults, um, uh, drop sensor faults, a lot of oddball faults just showing up randomly. I've tried replacing various boards um, the, the carriage board I replaced, um, I replaced print heads, hard drive, um, and since I've got so much sunk into this printer already, I decided I'm going to try to just get into this power supply, maybe check in the power supply, but after searching the internet, it seemed like a lot of people were, re were replacing power supplies and not getting the problem fixed. Uh, this past time, it got to the point to where I couldn't even restart the printer anymore. I continued to get hard disk failures. Over here on the, the main board, there's two LEDs. The top one, when you first turn it on, is dimly lit and the bottom one which I guess is supposed to be orange will always be lit up is the condition I was seeing so lit up green barely lit and about 10 seconds after powering it on the computer would attempt to bring the high voltage side of this power supply up but then it would immediately go into shutdown so what i did was i have what's called an esr meter that's the equivalent series resistance tester for capacitors and went through and checked all the electrolytic capacitors on this board most well, actually all of the large ones were within the expected range the one, I, these small ones here, there's several small electrolytics. Most of them are uh, 10 microfarad at 50 volts. Every single one of them were either high resistance or none at all. Let's see, I believe this one here was just had no resistance at all. It was basically a dried up capacitor. All total, there was five that needed to be replaced. This one here, which is 22 microfarad at 50 volts. This one here, 10 microfarad at 50. These two are both 10 microfarad at 50 volts. And this capacitor here, 10 microfarad at 50 volts. So all of those were replaced. Plugged the board back in and everything booted up like it should. Um, all the voltages check within range. There's the 36 volts. This is ground. We have plus 24. Um, there's a couple, of, there's a minus 15 here. There's a couple of 5 volt lines here. Uh, this back here is uh, 3 volts. Uh, there's a, another one here that's also 3 volts. And just everything looks good. So again, I just wanted to put this out there since I didn't see it. It's I think I spent three bucks on the capacitors. Um, my supplier 
my local supplier actually didn't have the the good caps that I needed. These were uh, stock bin caps, so not the best, but I'm back up and running. So, um, if anybody has any questions about this, again, this is a model 5500 PS. This power supply is a DPS 386AP-1 made by Delta specifically for uh, Hewlett Packard. And this power supply is actually used in a couple different models. I believe the uh, 5000, both the 46 inch and 60 inch units. So anyways, that's about it for today. Just glad to be back up and I hope this uh, helps you guys out. Um, just leave me some comments below if you have any other questions. And uh, it would really be appreciative if you could uh, like and subscribe. That'd really help me out. Um, and hopefully I'll get some more videos put up here to help you out. Or if you have any other uh, things you'd like to see on here, please let me know. Have a good one.